Right, Shalom. First and foremost, I'd like to begin this lesson here by giving all praises, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh, Bahasham, Rocha, Kodash. Double honors goes to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. God rule well. Peace, blessings, and salutations goes to the elect. This here is the brother Amma one from the Great Millstone Camp in Trinidad. Hey, before, because right now I'm in transit. You know what has be, you know what has be going on? Oh shit! Come on there. Yeah, now stop the video now. All right now. You know what has be going on? This, uh, I, if I once I put this thing on ten minutes, I'm in trouble. That video does just cut. And all the progress made, gone. Yeah. So all praise say our Basham and our Shai. Right? And as I say, double honors go to the apostles. Um, Basham and Kakodash. Double honors go to the apostles and the Lord of Great Millstone who rule well. Peace, blessings, and salutations go to the elect. And um, yeah. In transit, listen. Once again. Uh, don't know how he does do it. Hey, we in Babylon the Great. We in this fucking hamster wheel. You gotta keep the ball rolling. People are to eat. People depending on you. You are to eat. The Akiam, you gotta make sure Akiam straight. And whatever they need, if they need anything. First and foremost is them always. You know what I mean? The Akiam Tazadakiam. Righteous men. Um, righteous brothers, um, your family, whoever, whoever had to eat and drink or whatever. Yeah, your pops alive still, mom's alive still. Sometimes they just need things from you. You had to do that so you, you had to work all the fucking time. Just to make sure you have sufficient, you know. Not to be rich, you know, but to make sure you have sufficient. And... Which not even supposed to be mentioned. The Lord's work. This is a necessity. This is not even a part of anything. This is life. <laughs> okay, I had to do the Lord's work. Go and preach. Right now on the way to go and preach. Right now on the way to go to camp. So we just do camp twice per week. Push. I thought 2016 was the year of the push. This is the year of the hopeful year of Jacob Shubba. So 2024. And hey, hopefully he pop off. Something had to pop off soon. Because don't know. The Lord, the Lord coming back. You know, we we're not talking about some kind of false hope here. Just here they are meditating on that, you know. One of these days everybody going and think it's just business as usual. And it's just because it's boom. You just get some some disturbing for the pop for the masses news. I would say disturbing for the masses because the masses would be disturbed about that news. The the, the ones who been preparing would be ecstatic about that news. News such as. The United States dollar has just collapsed, the stock market has just crashed. Right? The Dow's the um the, the the United States stock market has just crashed Wall Street is in an uproar. All these big businesses going under, right? People being some like just were going in 2007, 2008. Them things go on come and happen when I made and I'm on major way how much years passed since then? About 14, 15, probably 16 years. Since then. Since 2008, 2007. One or more things to come, you know what I mean? So it gonna go and be on a way, way, way major scale than what we than what we saw in 2007 because in 2007 I would have been old way. I would have still be in, I would have, I would have been in Form 3. I finished school in 2009. So in 2007, I would have been in Form 3. And in Form 3, 
I would not have, I would not have known about everything that was going on, but I hear certain things, right? And around that same time is when they brought in this devil called Obama, and he did what he do, and you know, and whatever. But two talk, I would have been from four, from four, my age would have been about 13 years or 14 years, somewhere there. 15 years I finished school at 16 years. What the fuck? 16 years old I was. Then a big man, right? Yeah, 16 years when I finished school. So I'd have been in form 3, I would have been like around 14 years old. You understand everything was going on already. You're getting older, you know what I mean? And it's only now when you get a little older than that, is when you realize, hey, what was taking place back then? was the, 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 the markets went under and the stocks went under and people were losing their jobs left right and center the united states government the united states um, financial strength was in a bad place and a lot of people took their lives a lot of edomites especially took their lives for such a for that for, for the um, event look at him she and six says that's not what that's bear with me shall a trumpet be blown in the city and the people not be afraid shall there be evil in the city and the lord had not done it Right? The Lord go and bring some different kind of evil. You never know what could take place. One day you could just be thinking it's all good, just like every other day. And then, boom! Something major happened. A major news outlet broke that um, the American dollar is basically of zero value as of now. Um, so, and why I focus in on money? Because you could hear that news. Like America sending troops into the, more troops into you. America declare war on Russia or whatever. Sending troops into, you know, you, you, you could hear all them other news. But why I focus in on the money part of it, the money aspect is because of the fact that when it comes to um, Jacob's shovel, and when it comes to the end times right now, you're dealing with Revelation 3 and 10. This is the prophecy that has to happen before um, World War 3 starts. Revelation 3 and 10, Revelation 13 and 16. Where it is, your money is going to be shipped from you. The money that you know will be shipped from you. You wouldn't have that form of money to spend, buy, sell, do, a, do anything with anymore. Your money is basically going to be digital. I would quote our Prime Minister in the year 2020, according to ESO, so-called 2020, according to ESO, around August time, right? Um, for election. He said, uh, shut up. He said this, he said, the future we are talking about is a modern addressing a, a congregation of, of um, sheep who were, who were listening to his speech, his campaign speech. This was part of his campaign. This is something that he was saying in his campaign. We played the video so many times that I know the, I know the audio word for word. Because I've been listening there. I listen. And this is what he said, quote, he said, the future we are talking about is a modern future. First of all, right, first of all, Trinidad and Tobago, <laughs> talking about, you're talking about a modern future. You're talking about a modern future. This place need, hey bro, it, it, it are people who, um 
using still up to this day they're using outhouses latrines the fuck you talking about mother this is why you know they put this nigga up to say something you know this nigga words plenty of times you hear these mfs speaking they are not speaking their words right somebody tell them to say xyz they're not speaking their words. They were put up to say what I said. Right? So, he said, he said that the future we are talking about is a modern future where we are moving now to E-identity, which would E as letter E represents electronical identity where every person in the country will be identified by a unique identifier and that all our services go digital and very soon the country will go paperless and cashless that's what he said. Around that same time, Andrew Holness in, ba in Jamaica said the same thing. The words, you know, be switch up like about four words in, in, in the quote. Said the same thing. So any day now, any day now, things could be going all good, you know, everything running smooth. You thinking it's just a normal day, every like every other day. What? What can I drive this man make it off? We drive the way. He want to go wrong or wrong that boat in a different kind of way. Wait, these people are crazy. Yeah, any day now, them thing could come. You never know. Any day now, you could hear. That you could hear America declare war, Russia, Russia declare war on um, or Israel declare war on Iran. Hey, hey, that's the close one. You hear Israel declare war on Iran, everything, hey, hey. Like literally, yo, I declare war on you. No, no Cold War, no, no proxy war. Say, I declare war on Iran, Israel, I, Israel, declare it's war time on Iran. When that happened, it's go time, man. America, and America, Israel own America. Israel own America. Right? Israel owns America. So America going and have to jump in. Russia and Iran have a league. They go and Russia have to jump in and that war going and turn into a hot war very soon. We start to see the start on Ravel the MOTB. People, people, um, people taking it in the hand, getting chipped in a, in a major way all over the earth. Because when they had the, the Crown Vic, right? That was just the test. When they had that, that, that business in 2020, that was just the test. Right? But as I, I, I was talking with the brother, that's all the other day on work. In a test. <laughs> I cannot show you all my full hand. I cannot show you all what is the real deal. But if you're smart, you will catch the you will catch the drift. Been paying attention. You're going to know. Within the test, right? They they closed every single thing except three things pharmacies, banks, and groceries. 
those three things were made accessible once you keep social distancing be six feet apart wear on your masks and you know sanitize or whatever those three things were accessible by by the people who took the juice and the people who didn't by the people who took the juice and the people who didn't take the juice you could have still gone into any groceries you could have still gone into any pharmacy and you could have still gone into any bank right you could have gone into anyone but that is the plan I ain't sure them are full hand. What was cut off? Movies, restaurants, beaches, public gatherings. Those things were cut off. Right? Parties, clubbings, so forth and so on were cut off. We allow you to eat, we allow you to make sure you have medication and make sure you're able to go by the table and change your money. Do your money exchange so you can be able to buy your food because that's the only way you just get your money. That's the only way you could buy your food, just going by, them tab by the table and doing your exchange with money. But how do you bank me, right? You would bank me in tip. So, they didn't show their full hand. Right? They did not show their full hand. Because that wasn't the, the finished product. You see the finished product is Revelation chapter 13 and verse 16, 17 and 18. That is the finished product. When that product come in in a major way where they are ready to implement it and make it mandatory make it make it a mandate for for everybody to take this that is the finished product that is where they want to carry it only the prophets go and tell you that and when when they carry it there the three, the three things where they did not cut off will be cut off. You will not have access to no bank. You will not have access to no pharmacy and no grocery. And it caused it all, both small and great. What, why am I saying that the scriptures here? It caused it all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond. To receive a mark in their right hand on in their foreheads and that no man might buy or sell save he that had the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name so this thing is dealing with buying and selling buying and selling occurs in restaurants buying and selling occurs in restaurants it occurs in um buying and selling occurs in restaurants. It occurs in cinemas. Sometimes in most public gatherings, it does have people selling things on the road. So they already restricted you from buying and selling. If it didn't take a certain thing that they were giving out in 2020 and 2022, 2020, 2021, 2022, a certain thing that they were making mandated, they were trying to make it mandatory. And they were resisting people from taking such things, from, from, from partaking in certain things where buying and selling is, is concerned. 
buying and selling our clothes in, in, in uh, as I say, cinemas, restaurants, beaches. You just have to buy and sell. They didn't block you off from gas stations either. Well, that would be a ripple effect because if you can't go to the to the bank, obviously you can't fucking get gas. <laughs> they didn't. They didn't. Right, so buying and selling occurs in, in majority of these places where, where I'm speaking of. That they, that they restricted people from going. Because they didn't have a certain thing. So they don't want to... They will not, not this time. They're not going on arm. This time is not about... This time is not about buying and selling. Bam, selling. This time it wouldn't be um, restrictions for things that uh, we could substitute. At. We could substitute the movies. We could go on Netflix. We could substitute the beach. We could buy a pool. Right? We don't, but we don't really necessarily bound for public gatherings and outdoor activities because I could singly take a run outside, just take a run. For the public activities like take playing a little football match or playing a little basketball match or whatever. It's, it's really to get a sweat. I could sweat. I could just take a jog outside and I go sweat. It's not so hard for me. Not unnecessary. Necessary things were were kept back from being um they, they they kept back necessary things from being shut off to the public. Necessary things is for majority of the people who don't trust in the, the system, the um the knowledge of the Lord and his herbs. Ne- a necessary thing is a pharmacy. A necessary thing is a grocery for the majority of us for all of us and that necessary a necessary thing is the bank for the majority of people right that is going to be kept back from the people now that is what they're going on use that is the, that is the last card they're going on play and a lot of you people are going on get taken by this thing any day now that could happen. Any day now. You don't know what could take place by right now. That the Lord said we have to keep our eyes open. Right? That is why the Lord said we have to keep our eyes open. Because you don't know what could take place, bro. Anything could happen, bro. The Lord could just let the, 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 the market crash, bam. Then, 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 then what? They're bringing a new way. They say, well, right, it, it crashed now. So anybody who wants to be a part of the system now, well, by all that, you all going and have to take this thing. But this is the new money going forward. There's the new money going forward. All who don't take it, yeah, yeah, excluded from every single thing that we have out here. Banks, um, groceries, banks, pharmacies, and these things necessary. They did not cut off the necessary, and people were in panic fucking mode. They tell you these blood clad sheep are top outside here. Man, I know sheep in them. Oh. What I mean? I got sheep for my shepherd. But me no sheep for his so fucky so Fucky. Me no sheep for his so I serve you how I buy a shammy, I was shy on him only, eh? Fuck he saw, he saw could do what he want. <laughs> I don't go and try and even try and serve he saw. You understand? 
But yeah, hey, anyways, I will give all praises on and glory to you. How about Shami? I was shy. Basham Kakwa Dash. Double honors goes to the apostles. And the elders of Great Well Story at Rule Well. Peace, blessings, and salutations goes to the elect. Akiam. See Shom who flee in the fight. Shalom to the elect.